Skip, and I get it. If you didn't want to suspend him for throwing the mouthpiece in game at, uh, game six, they were losing. He was the reigning MVP. There were going to be a game seven, and I get it. Although you did suspend Le, uh, Yadonis Haslam for doing the exact you same did. thing. You suspended Good Amari point. Stoudemire. Remember, mm -hmm. uh, Amari Giannis came up. Yadonis actually hit Joey Crawford. No, though. but I'm saying. <laughs> Well, that's okay. But let me uh, I'm, I'm good with that. I'm fine with it. Whatever you don't, it doesn't no, no. fine with it. <laughs> and you remember, against your San Antonio Spurs, they suspended Amari Stoudemire for game seven for coming off the bench in game okay. six. Okay, so, that has to do with what? So this is his okay. second offense. All right. This is a meaningless game in October. This is an opportunity for you to say, okay, Steph, go sit this one down. Don't let this happen again. Mm. That's all you had to do, Skip. Yep. How many times does he get to throw his mouth? First of all, why yep. do they touch it so much? You put the mouthpiece in your mouth. You shake a guy's hand. You slap a guy on the butt. You pat a guy on the head. And then you stick it and put it back in your mouth. They do that all the time in I know. That's, that, no, they don't. I don't touch it. Yeah, it touch. falls on the ground. That's why I ain't wear no mouthpiece. That nasty. But I'm saying well, I this. Mean, Steph's got an obsession with his because he's always like chewing, chewing on him. Yeah. yeah. Shooting free throws. And you excuse talking about they you do it all. Chews his mouthpiece too. Oh, there you go. Joy. Don't hey, you better watch it. You done us a real one. <laughs> Don't get involved with you. And, and, that's, and that's the thing. He shouldn't have been suspended, but this is a second offense, Skip. Mm -hmm. And you're talking about he wasn't trying to hit the ref. That's not the issue. The issue is that you threw it for a second time. So how many times does he get to throw his mouthpiece? Let me ask you a question, Skip. If that was Boogie Cousins, tell me what would have happened. Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> he, he might be going for a while. Exactly. And that's my point, Skip. This is a perfect opportunity for you to say, Steph, Stop this now. This is enough. I get it. You're frustrated. I, they were losing, and I get the frustration. One and two. Nobody thought they'd be one and two at this point in time. Mm -hmm. But you did it two years ago, and you've done it again. So at what point in time do you send the message to say, Steph, we need you to stop this as a face of the league? I mm -hmm. get it. He's an MVP. But he he's doing something that's unacceptable. So he $50,000 to a guy that's making $40 million. Mm -hmm. I cannot tell you. I, I agree with every point you just made times 100. Because when I heard that Steph was not suspended just for a game, just, just to make the statement, just right. to send the message, this will not be tolerated, right. it turned my stomach. Because it has come to this for the NBA. And I usually give Adam Silver gold medals for all of his decisions. Right. He gets no medal for this one because this is just shameful. This is catering to the two-time MVP, a marquee star on a team that was the most prohibitively favored before the season started in the history of the NBA to win it all. Correct. So you are protecting your product here. And it's, it's just disgusting because you're letting them push the boundaries, push the limits farther and farther. And then you, you let Steve Kerr talk you out of it and shame you into a no decision here on step, no suspension. Because right after the game, Steve Kerr, everybody respects the heck out of Steve they Kerr. They love Steve. Oh, do they? But he made an extremely sarcastic remark about, oh, he should get eight or ten games for throwing his mouthpiece. And he went on to say, it was egregious. It was awful. It endangered people in the stands. Blah, blah, blah. He was just laying it on thick. Right. And, and I guess Kiki Vandeweghe in the league office and Commissioner Silver sat back and said, yeah, he's really got a point. It wasn't that big a deal. He didn't actually hit Joey Crawford or the referee in question. I'm not a big Joey Crawford fan either. You're a Udonis fan, but I'm you know, that was okay. You, had, you was out on Joy ever since he, uh, ever, you got ever that since right. he threw Tim out <laughs> yeah. of the game for Guess last Guess what happened to him? He got tossed for that, <laughs> right, did, for a did. while. But in this case, you can't let Steph Curry even throw in the direction right. of the official. It's in the direction. Maybe he didn't aim at him, but he kind of threw it at his feet. Well, he's not, he's not Clayton Kershaw. No. Hell, if he could hit him, he'd have been yeah. pitching, probably been pitching in baseball. Right. And so this is the NBA backing off. And just... Let them, let them be themselves just the way they backed off last year after game one of the final, uh, uh, conference finals when Zaza Pachibshot got away with as dirty a play as I have ever seen in all my years of watching playoff basketball. And I'm going to say it one more time. My Spurs were up 23 points, game one, third quarter, and that play happened. And it's a dirty play. And to Pop's credit, Greg Popovich, Spurs coach, right. the next day, he went off on everybody, right. including the league, for not suspending him. But he didn't. It's, it's okay. But when it was he, an accident. But but in, in game six, he did throw it, and it hit a fan. Mm. 
which is more egregious than hitting a referee. Even steps. Yeah, yeah steps no, through no, his no. mouthpiece and it hit a fan. <sighs> okay, you find him for that. You should have told him, Steph, any more throwing of the mouthpiece, mouthpiece mm -hmm. will result in a suspension. Yep. So clearly you didn't say that, or clearly he didn't get the message, which in either case is unacceptable. I get Steph is a two-time MVP. I get it he's one of the faces of the NBA. But, but Skip, you can't let stuff like this go, especially when it's more than once. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few segments from the newest show on FS1, First Things First, with Chris Carter and Nick Wright.